right, we're back with Hodes from the Today Show. <laughs> Anna Vickers, I really needed this today. Don Johnson's movie is Knives Out, and it's getting rave reviews. You guys are going to love it. And it's directed by Ryan Johnson, director of Knives Out. We were talking. Um, Don asked me during the commercial break, well, what questions did I get from my plea the fifth last time? So your qu three questions were, the first one was, Describe Barbara Streisand in three words. What did he say? He said, funny, funny, funny. And then the second Good. one was, you've admitted to having a big ego during Miami Vice days. What was the douchiest thing you ever did? And you pled the fifth to that. Now, I almost asked you what the douchiest thing you've seen another celebrity do was, but I went for the drug question this time. What was the third thing? Name one famous lady who turned you down for a oh, date. A and you said... Nobody. <gasps> um, all right. Um, before I get into the calls, it ain't bragging for these two, if you can do it, you know. What'd you say? I said it's not bragging if you can do yeah, it. Yeah, right. Uh, before I get into the, some more phone calls for you guys, since our bartender is such a big time director bringing us knives out, fresh off the heels from Star Wars The Last Jedi, I need to ask you some Star Wars a speed round of questions, if you don't mind. Let's do it. The Last Jedi left some fans shocked by Luke Skywalker's story and ending. Looking back, would you change anything in your script or do you stand by all your choices? No. Nope. Stand by every choice. Do you think J.J. Abrams will dive deeper into Ray's backstory and her parents? Uh, I am ready for whatever J.J. dives into. Will you still be making your own trilogy of Star Wars films? You'll have to keep your eye on StarWars.com for their oh. official announcement. I have you seen The Mandalorian? Uh, no, not yet, because I've been traveling around doing this. I can't wait to see it. Where do you stand on Baby Yoda? I am very... Who could not be pro-Baby Yoda? It's Baby Yoda. He's adorable. Have you seen or chatted with J.J. Abrams about Episode Nine? Yes. Best and worst thing about working on a Star Wars movie? Everything is the best. You're working on a Star Wars movie. There's nothing bad about it. <laughs> um, on Knives Out, you have an all-star cast. Who left you the most in awe on set? As Don stares daggers at me. <laughs> <laughs> I would have to go with <laughs> Jamie Lee Curtis, obviously. She's amazing. She's um, a wonder. One more question about Carrie Fisher. Do you know what they originally planned to do with Carrie Fisher in episode nine before her untimely death? No. You don't? Well, no. She passed away before it, it all started getting solidified. So. Got it. Thank you very much, Ryan. I appreciate it. Let's go back to the phones. Ryan from Connecticut. Hey, Ryan, what's your question? Uh, Rebecca. Rebecca, sorry. Rebecca from <laughs> Connecticut. Okay. Hi, Andy. Hi, hi. Hoda. Hi, John. Uh, hi, Rebecca. Hello. Uh, my question is for you, Hoda. Okay. Be honest. What did you actually think of the song Kathy Lee wrote for Everyone Has a Story? <laughs> <laughs> Love it. It made her happy. <laughs> It made her, she was so happy whenever she sang that song. She literally, you've been in the studio when it happens. When it came on over the loudspeaker, she literally stands on top of the desk. <laughs> I mean, By the way, they have a thing at the Today Show where you'll do something or say something and then the control room will start we'll blaring just that song. Like, yeah. yeah, let's go to Gina from Atlanta. Hey, Gina, what's your question? Hi, um, thank you, Don, for all your years of hard work. I'm a huge fan. Oh, thank um, you. Do you do you have any plans for a Miami Vice reboot? And if so, are you planning on bringing on your son? So <laughs> many people say he looks so much like you during your Miami Vice days. Thank you. Uh, um, thank Sweet. you for the question. Um, you know, ever since I left the show, there's been chatter about us yeah. rebooting the show, and we're we're still talking about it. Um, uh, uh, if if I were to do if I were to include my son, I'd do a spinoff called Son of Sonny. Uh, <laughs> that's cute. cute. Uh, are you and Philip? You and Philip Michael Thomas? I don't hate know. each other, right? No, no, I'm just kidding. No, no, no. We I love each other. I totally made that up. We, we, um, let to, for yes. the record. Yes, we love no, each I know. I, I'm so making that up. Um, Adam from New York. Hey, Andy, I love the show, and it hurt my soul that I wasn't at BravoCon this year. I was I'm sorry. Well. Next year, we'll do it again. All the social media posts, yes. definitely. So my question is for Hoda. It's a um, multifaceted question. Okay. Um, looking back, how traumatized are you of your Snoopy and Woodstock outfits, and where does the John Travolta costume rank in all your Halloween costumes? And do you get a say in the Halloween costumes you wear each year? Do you have a say? 
Uh, no. How you, traumatized are you by Snoopy and Woodstock? That was the worst year we've ever had. It that really no, is. the worst ever. Yes. I mean, I had a big beagle. You would, it would, you yeah, would have hated it. Do you no, remember I it? I, I, I remember. You can't unsee I it. Can't unsee it. Yeah. Okay. And then this year, where does the Travolta costume rank? Um, I, I feel like I'm always either a man or something hideous. Like I was Yoda one year, and I'm usually right. a man. I don't know why. That's why they keep. Right. Picking me to do those things, but the Travolta thing, I liked it. Like yeah. I liked, I liked that one. I looked like Eddie Munster. It was clear. You did look like Eddie Munster. Exactly. Uh, Corey from Queens, last call of the night. Corey, what's your question? Hey, Corey. Hi. What's your question? <laughs> um, sorry, my question's for John Johnson. Okay. What has your reaction been to your book club love interest, Jane Fonda, getting arrested every week for her climate change protest? And would you join her if you have a free weekend? Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, we've talked about it, and I would join her. And I, I, I mean, come on. She's the greatest. She is. And, <laughs> yeah. and she's, she's, she's fighting for you. Yes. For the future, for yes. young people, it's not for it's not for Jane, it's not for us, it's for the future. Yeah. Hell yes, I'd join her. Yeah, yeah. I hope that's awesome. That's I, awesome. And, I, and I hope to be handcuffed to her. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> I want to thank Hoda and Don you. and Ryan for more for Good night, everybody. Thanks for watching. Watch more clips here and subscribe to our channel here. See ya.